Hi there, my name's Chris and I draw things. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw a sheep. Now the first thing to do when you have a piece of paper in front of you, um, you might be good at drawing, you might not be good at drawing, um, or you might not think you're good at drawing, but actually anybody can learn to draw. So, first of all, you've got to put out all those ideas that there's a right and a wrong way to draw a sheep. If you draw a sheep, it will look exactly the way that only you can draw it. Okay, so there's no official right way, and what I'm showing you now isn't the only way to draw a sheep. It's a good way to start using building blocks. A bit like Lego, you use the right blocks in place and the right structure, and then you can make your own. Um, it's really entirely up to you, okay? No right and wrong with drawing a sheep. Just draw something. Um, second of all is uh, just to remember to play. Just play. Um, have fun, because if you're not having fun, it will show in your drawing. So um, none of this trying really hard to get a good line, because it'll end up looking really strange. And you don't really want to do that. What you do want to do, though, is just relax and just mess around, have fun, do loads of different sheep and see which ones you like. Doesn't matter. You'll find, you'll find if you just sort of do nice big shapes and keep it very light, you'll get better results. If you start trying to draw a circle and go, it'll go a bit wonky. Keep it light, hold the pencil in your hand, keep it light. And then that's not a perfect circle, but as I go round, I can make it a better circle until I get the outline of a circle that I really want. And that's the basis for ID. So, with that, first thing to draw is this. And loosen up. Just start playing, see what you can do. And then... Okay, oh, that's a bit better. So always loosen up if you can try. And then we'll actually get to the sheep bit. So start off with a little, what's the main structure of a sheep? Where you can build anything out of very simple shapes. So what I'm gonna lightly do is this. Like a nice oval shape. And that's going to be the sheep's body. And then what else do you need? Well, sheep obviously have legs. So we'll just... Legs are basically sticks. If you can draw a stick man, you can draw stick legs. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can always rub things out. And um, sheep have heads. So we'll put a, put a head there. What we'll do is we'll actually move that back a little bit. So it overlaps the body. Okay, that's the basis for your sheep. Um, so what else do they need? Well, once you've worked out the rough shape, then you can start putting the details in. So you know that a sheep has a head. So we'll fill in this outline a bit more. We'll do something like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're firming that out a bit. And then they have eyes. You can just draw two little dots for eyes. Quite close together. And then give it a little smile. Now sheep also have little ears. So how do sheep's ears go? Let's do that. Oh, being a bit too hard on the pencil there. Mm. Okay. And then for the main body, you can either draw it, well, if you draw it quite flat like this, then you'll end up with a sheep that isn't, isn't very woolly, or it's got very compact wool. Um, but if you do, everyone's drawn clouds. Just remember, it's when you're a bit younger and you're drawing clouds. And you just didn't, you're always a bit fluffy. I see lots of arcs, part circles like that. There you go, all the way around the outline. Next up, just finish off with the legs. So we'll just make the legs very basic. 
very simple and we'll just put a bit more thickness on them like that and for little hooves good shape for hooves is triangles okay and uh, give him some ground we'll put that line in the background just so it looks like he's standing on something no, technically it's a sheep so it should be a sheep and then we'll put little knobbly knees just because I like knobbly knees and those two little lines there for a nose now that's a basic way you can do one sheep and there's many different ways of doing them but why not try playing with your own now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use a felt you can use a felt tip well uh, this is a slightly more posh brush pen where you don't need one of those you just need a felt tip and then if you're going to finish you might want to do this several times to practice even though i made a wobble and that's okay we'll just keep it really simple like that so this is tucked behind the head so the head overlaps and comes before the ear and then you don't need to join up all the lines because it's art and then I'll just correct the legs a little bit so it looks a bit more like she's standing up and we've got little hooves there do not be knees. Okay, and that's your sheep. And then you can colour it. You can colour it in any way you like. You can do the outline in any colour you like. You could use any pen that you like. Um, it's entirely up to you. What we don't want to do is say this is the only way of drawing a sheep ever. This is the best way, uh, because that's not what art's about. Drawing is as much about you finding out how to do it yourself, and about having fun and drawing a sheep how you want to draw a sheep. So this is an example of a few other things you might want to do. You might want to try with a completely different size sheep. So you start with something, and you see that with a big body and tiny legs. It's the same shapes, it's the big oval, it's the four sticks, and it's another oval for the head. But if you did that, you're going to have a sheep with a huge body, tiny legs and a tiny head. And he's going to look completely different to the first one. funny actually. Or you could do a sheep with... Oh, let's go for a really long body. Long oval. Sticks for legs. And an all size head. Or you could do another completely different sheep and you could make him out of a, a rectangle body. You could do really long legs, little tiny feet. So then, that's just to show you there's all sorts of ways of drawing a sheep, but however you choose to draw something, however you want to draw something, whatever your style is and whatever cartoons you like on TV and video games and those styles you might be influenced by, um, just stick to simple shapes to start with and make the structure. It's a bit like building a Lego building. Use the basic Lego bricks uh, before adding all the details. So use this part, the body, and then work out what to do for the head, work out what to do for the legs. And you'll come up with your own unique design for an awesome sheep. I hope that's helpful. See you soon.